Thank you, Geraldo. Um, we're now going to hear from Kawe Alves. Uh, Kawe is also based in Sao Paulo and holds a master's degree and a doctorate in philosophy from the Universidade de Sao Paulo and is professor in the Department of Art at the Pontificat Catholic University of Sao Paulo. He was assistant curator of the 8th Mercosur Biennale in Porto Alegre in 2011 and was curator of the 32nd Panorama of Brazilian Art at the Museum of uh, Musée d'Art in Moderna in Sao Paulo in 2011. He has acted as curator um, of engraving, um, printmaking at the Musée d'Art in Moderna in Sao Paulo since 2006 and has written widely on contemporary art. Among other projects, he's curated exhibitions including Mirishandel, Reversal of the Reversed at the IACI, Institute of Contemporary Art in Sao Paulo in 2010, and Almost Liquid at Itao Cultural in Sao Paulo in 2008. So, Kawe. Thanks, Tanya, for the invitation. Hannah, thanks, Michael and Nick. And thanks, Thaisa and uh, Valeria for the invitation for talk here. I will talk about seven uh, parts about the Mira Shendo work, uh, space, time, transparency, language, body, mandalas, and metaphysics. Space. Although Mirashendo's production has never been restricted to, not has it been specialized in a specific technique or support, on the contrary, she maintained experimental activities throughout most of the professional trajectory and explored a wide variety of materials. This paper focuses solely on the work on paper. Going beyond the popular reason that the papers make up the majority of the body of work, we are interested in the reflecting of how this material was used by the artist, the paths that led her to objects, and the implication of her option for different kinds of paper, as well as transparency and the relationships between lines and blanks, front and black interior and exterior in her works. Spe especially on the rice paper for monotypes or monotypes, set of approximately 2,000 drawings made between 1964 and 1966, and resumed in the 1970s, the lines drawn by Schendel, rather than determining the space, absorb it into their formation, as if it were possible to grab is a single gesture. They are born out of the employment of the entire body and not just a hand of the brain, or the brain. This is perhaps why she ha has the power of enlivening the void. The empty space, the, the um, this is a monotype. Um, the empty space in her monotype is a mix of drawing and print, an impression that involves intense and incisive activity of the rice paper as well as the passivity of the support which absorbs the paint placed upon an inked plexiglass plate covered in talcum. Schindel knew how to utilize this ambiguity and in the lies on the philosophical dimension of the, her work. The emptiness is many of these monotypes is not opposed to the line, the mark drawn from behind. First, it's a companion which depends on the order to exist. If the paper is not totally passive, since it's the paper that comes in contact with the inked surface, it's also not just merely a prop, a physical base which gives support, rather than being part of the action. Therefore, the emptiness of the paper is all active emptiness 
and the line before expressly dominating the field in which drum is sucked up and absorbed by it. It's true that the predominantly empty space of her, pap or her papers look fleeting. After all, and they cannot be separated from the duration, and the strokes of the artist's drawing tend to surprise the fields in which they emerge. The space is not just a given environment which work is disposing, an attribute common to all, nor is, nor, nor is it an imagined abstract space in which the object of the world share properties. There is, in Shendo's work, a power of pure connection to the distinction between form and content. In the monotypes, in the monotypes, even as there is up and down, left and right, the lines of the drum, as they cross the paper, anchor the space, or in other words, themselves become the support, since it's from them that the basic coordinates of orientation emerge. So much so, much so that they are not always traced previously obeying an established notion of front and back. The, stabili the stability of the drawing emerges from itself, from, the, from its interior. This is why it's trans translucent and not from a given environment. The up and down, left and right, spring from the internal exigence of the work, which invites us to distinguish the points in which the whole is anchored. Shinto's pref pre preferred monotype format is vertical, in which the height is a double of the height. Generally, 46 and 33 centimeters. The verticality is the same as the body, the same as our body with contribute of, to the constitution of this space, also being the body that receives this orientation in the experience of the world. Time. All at once, the artist's lines give origin to the space to, and capture it in the series of transformation in that which it has the temporal and transi transient. Its lines div divide the paper, define the special relationship, and makes us envision letters, open figures, closed figures, and um, uh, close figures are thus in the process of forming, always investigating themselves and their surrounding. Time in the work of Mira Schendel is that with it always on the verge of appearing the which present itself in nascent state, that which is the poorly passing. It is the kind of time that is quality and which nonetheless transgress in sight of think, not simply running from the instant to instant, in a succession that composed of a sum of isolated moments. Shendo distancing herself from the mechanical notion of time that a certain geometrically based art of the 1950s adopted in Brazil and whose models are the machine and the regularity. It is also not time as a succession of nows, a time that reads the past and the future as present, a notion grounded in the casual explanation. Her notion of time is in no way connected to the line which can be subdivided into equal and miserable intervals. On the contrary, is a sort of immeasurable and no quantitative time, a dimension of our being and one which is never completely constituted. In her work, there is a time which a fluid, constant movement on the opening up to the forecoming and which accordingly could not end in the ideality or ideality of a concept. In her theory, Chendo questioned herself at times about the life and singing of the contemporary pragmatic man who thought my, may have nearly ever think her fingertips as if he lived in an eternal present, shut himself off as if he had plain powers of the time. The notion of opening up to the new and to the indeterminacy, indeterminacy of chance is fundamental in comprehending much of her work. Itself in her series Bordados in Broderies, 1962-1964, drawings on the race paper with geometric patterns in which the handmade nature is evident 
or even in the setting Bombas, which presents geometric composition or stroke rendered with a wide flat brush over moistened papers, moistened papers filed with bloating and the without any rigidity. The shapes insinuate movements that escape the plain dominion of the gesture, as spontaneity which propagates itself on the paper like waves break on the beach. It's as if the work were the result of many explosions of nuclear fission, liberating a great amount of energy which are dispersed, dispersed beyond the limits of the branch contact with the paper. In this process, the pigment is able to differentiate from itself without actually se separating from itself. The blurry contours, both liquid and smoky, from the paint are not just vestiges of the jest, but also traces of the space that dislocates itself, an active space, a field where time is infiltrated and which, nevertheless, is not that quantitative space. It's a, it is as if the water paper which absorbs everything had made the limits undefined, the mass irregular with various gradations of black, which are differentiated according to the density of the paint. The difference in concentration of black between the center and the border reveal what, what a little control she has over the china ink, which is dispersed in various directions. As such, the technique used by Mira Schendel is almost a non technique, as it removes from a set of procedures which the intention of producing something previously determined. For her, technique is not to be confused with virtuosity ability or control of the instruments and materials. On the contrary, its existence, its is immediate gesture open to the chance. Transparency. The artist always knew how to explore the materiality of the paper and never did she try to dis disguise its, pre its presence. The transparency or the paper could never be understood as an analogy of the of our consciousness that intends itself to have plain interiority, transparency, sorry, transparency of itself with itself. The transparency appears to be a continuation of the paper's relationship with the surrounding. Shandos knew how to establish a rich relationship between the air, the surrounding atmosphere, the transparencies and the lightness of the body or of paper as it transients little trends in which, in which the slightest breeze provokes subtle movements in the loose sheets having from the nylon string. The string closes dot as a series of aligned sheets and finding then in a continuous flow. Transpa transgressing the paper from the inside, the string mimics the movement of light, which also penetrates and peruse the te techniques to which on the sheets a rice paper, of rice paper. The very little trenzinho presuppose a line up, a hitch wagon of, a, or an image of, the, of a convoy. Nonetheless, the work is far removed from the overused modern metaphor of the train, the machine as a symbol of industrial progress, or of the development, development ideology of a building metropolis that never stops growing. The diminutive of the title removes the power of the great locomotive in order to silently revolve the continuity of the movement of the line which crows the paper like a, the string of a pure necklace of the track in relation to the train. The materials of Shendo's work made with a paper process something essential, minimal, but which is not opposed to the physical appearance. This is true also because it, it wouldn't be possible for the materials to be opposed to some supposed accents or ideal substance of her work. There is a thought that is a reason from inside the material, an invisible element that is sustained inside this lighter, transparent body which are the papers of her drawing. Language. 
The language present in a large part of Mirashendo's papers is allusive and indirect. The artist, artist doesn't copy, not does the, she translate thought, but let herself be made and remade by them. It's as if her drawing, there was a search for an original kind of right, one that proceeds establishing signification, the already spoken pronounced in speech. In one of her writings, Shandos states that the six to surprise the speech at the moment of its origin. And the characters to her research as the attempt to immortalize the fleeting and to give a meaning up to the ephemeral. Her gesture fixed on paper, just like her handwriting letters and word, are institutive. At the same time that they institute a new meanings, they evoke the origin of the very gesture that which a possess of the primordial and inaugural. One reason that we can say that the silent and the emptiness in Vinashendo are significant is because it's the, it is as if they have reinvented calligraphy in their own language. In her right, there is a not always coherence inside a given semantic system. In addiction, her right to not seem to have a reason from a unity of grammatical roles, but rather from a mixture of various language in which the artist has some familiarity, such as Portuguese, German, and Italian. The media theorist Willem Flusser, one of the most important interlocutors, in a letter to the artist describing his own process of writing and comparing in which the way Schindler's work. First, he would write in German, his first language. Next, he would translate to Portuguese, then to English, and finally to the language in which the text would be published. What I seek is this, to penetrate the structures of various languages and hurting a very general and despersonalized nucleus in order. That poor said nucleus articulate my freedom. I believe that in certain times, your work is similar manner. What the procedures used by Flusser and Schendel demonstrate, perhaps, it's the search of something that belongs to all languages, as if the method would liberate something left over from the language in translation. This allows for greater approximation to the nascent state of thought. The absence of meaning, this leftover from the language, it is raw materials of Schendel's graphic work, and at the same time, it's a considerate of each language. It is as an independent and original nucleus of language in which what they have in common has allowed for the translation as act, translation acted in the passage from the language to another. This is a fairly ground to understand the monotypes, especially when Chandel established different languages. The primary fields of freedom allow one to perceive the movement of language as a scene of its graphic aspect as the sum of tokinos made on paper and also in the Datilos Critos. This work reveals something that belongs to not language or perhaps belongs to all language. It is from this nascent nucleus of language that the complex relationship between the drawing and the word the gestural and the non-gestural in her work emerge. Body. Little by little, mainly in the droguinhas, sheets of rice paper manually twisted and intervening, but also in the series, toquinhos, artistic paper tinting the glues on, on top of other sheets. Shento's work again great physical consistency, acquired a more solid body, and came to have a firmer presence in the three-dimensional space. Along the artist's trajector, trajector, the paper went through the process of transmutation, articulating itself in various manners during the 1960s. Their surface turned transparent, and then from the transient zone became a continuous flow, which gains body and solidity upon being twisted and intercalated in the droguinhas. The embodiment occurs even at the droguinhas border on residues of rice paper and as such 
contains something of the ephemeral and provisional, the notion of body which all the ambiguity of being both fragile and solid, permanent and disposable, of being simultaneously material and spiritual, could be linked to certain philosophical questions which double trouble the artist. According to Shandos all writing, it is the body connected to the phenomenology that her work approach. Around 1936, while residing in Milan, Schendel attended art school and subsequently studied philosophy at the Catholic University for two years. For two years. In the 1970s, after having relocated to Sao Paulo, she maintained a correspondence with German philosopher Hermann Smith and did visit him in Germany on a few occasions. Despite this, it would never be possible to say that her work is a commentary on philosophy, not is a visual translation of concepts. This is why it's, it's important to approach the artist's philosophical preoccupation starting from the dialogues with a variety of thinkers from the network of the philosopher's acquaintances who touch upon her work as well as such as as, as Shandos' work for clues of indication of the raw philosophy that they contains. Even with no intention of great in philosophy, but always question itself and the world, Shendo's work become even more riveting when understood from the philosophical perspective, on another word, from the consensus that the artist does in fact make the void of the world. It's precisely from this void that she makes the abundant work spring. The notion of corporate of reflexive body which dissolves the separation between activity and passivity, as we can see, is fundamental in Mira Schindel's work. The body that her work acquires does not merely occupy the space, but achieves it and makes it valid from blanks and intervals. The relationship that her work establishes with the subject contemplating it invites to circulate around her, allows the public to be inspired and aspired the same air that the pieces constitute. Coincidentally, Merleau-Ponty in I and Mind had written in 1960s. We speak of inspiration, and the word should be taken literally. There are really inspiration and expiration of being, action and passion so slimly discernible that it's become impossible to distinguish between what sees and what it seen, what paint and what is painted. The reversibility between subject and object, between inside and outside, between interiority and exteriority, which in one or other is implied in the artist's philosophical discourse, even because she would resist the understanding that there is metaphysics implicit in her work, is nonetheless relevant to understand it. As her correspondence shows, the artist had a Key interest in covering with philosophers about overcoming the classical dualism between the objective and subjective, and she was fascinated by Eastern philosophy. Mandalas. Shendo's reading of Young, who tried to research the I Ching, also brought her closer to Eastern culture and thought as well as the notion of chance. The mandalas, which she painted in 1974 and the exhibition exhibit in the following year, are archetypical image inspired by the studies of Jung. But the images of the unconscious mind and, mind and by search for selfhood. Schindler's interest in these themes clearly involves an attempt to, to overcome the dualism that comes from the complementary forces of the Oriental tradition, the yin and the yang, the active, luminous tenet, and the passive, dark, net, dark tenet, respectively. In Shendo's mandalas, just as the circular form that is also current in her work, there is a clear equilibrium that emerges from the suggestion of movement from the mutation of one force in the other. They represent the passage between chaotic and ordered mental states, but are, above all, an attempt to unite the opposite of Shendo's sole purpose throughout her career. Despite her interest in Jung's psychology and the theory of the individuation process, relevant for the develop, 
development of the Mandala series. In her diary entries in later years, she ended up showing a reticent regarding young stories, stating that phenomenology and the notion of corporate ended up holding more weight in her trajectory. Young's interpretation is valid by young doctrine, but I prefer to focus on the phenomenology of corporate. She write. Metaphysic. In the In the, uh, if there is any metaphysical meaning in Shandos' papers, it's evidence not in the ancient metaphysic that originated by Plato and which opposes accents and appearance. Rather, its metaphysic is its silent and invisible presupposing in perception and the language, and as such understood at the fundamental in the attempt to, to overcome the subject, subjective and objective as classical alternatives. It's precisely the idealistic metaphysics which propose a sort of heaven which contains the meaning and essence that sustain the world of appearance that comes to the end. The notion of corporate that so interesting Schindler refuse this dualism and attempts to provide an answer to the problem. The gesture of Schindler is drawn lines on a translucent plane and thus the position between an opaque and an opaque space the interior of the paper and the surface, which would be poorly exterior. Her line in addiction to processing duration the time appears to have a consciousness of their duration, thus establishing such a frank relationship with the material and the two or three dimensional space. Mira Shendo's arrival at the object as the droginhas, but also in her object graphics, papers processed between acrylic sheets and hung from transparent nylon string realizes in the an achievement in which a problem of the inside and outside, the concave and the convex, is definitively resolved by the material's transparency, which the acrylic, the two sides, the two plans from, the, from and black become visible. The test see upside down inverted as if in a matrix camouflage by the reversal becomes an image before before it becomes a meaning, and subsequently, the meaning is so evident that it is as if the image is dissolved. The entire work emerges from an action of a work and from the reverse of twist in outside out. Mirachendus captures words before they have a chance to escape, and the time it twists, then in switch way that it's that, that is it if they could say something unforeseen by the vernacular meaning. It seems that she has turned the words inside out. But in Schindel's case, it is an inside out that's not opposed to outside in. The perceivable experience, they are discernible, one backward that is simultaneously facing forward, a reversal of the reversed. 